what's up freaks we are getting set up for a 60 minute cardio boot camp fat loss training session out here in the sun in sunny southern california all you need for today all you need the only equipment you need is one single dumbbell now think about if you have a couple different choices of weights maybe bring yourself a couple different ones out but it think cardio weight so you want light to medium like i'm using a 20 pound dumbbell and that's going to be on the heavier side so judge accordingly probably that means you need like a 25 or a 30 because i'm just a, a puny little weak guy so one single dumbbell think about for things like presses for curls of presses for single arm cardio movements jack presses throwing it up in the air while you're doing jacks so you're gonna be moving fast a lot of movements so one single freaking dumbbell is all that you need so i'll give you a second to go get that while we get set up and get ready to get warmed up i've already done some foam rolling some lower body stretching i've done a stretch strap with my lower body some upper body band work and about 10 minutes on a rower just to get warmed up for the warm-up so you should be when you know you're going to do these sessions especially live you're going to be pushing it and pushing the freaking pace and going all out you should be spending extra time to get prepared mentally physically and freaking emotionally because this is going to be some craziness we're going to have some freaking fun and again you don't need a lot of space all you need is a single dumbbell one single freaking dumbbell that's it or anything that you could hold in one hand that's going to give you a little bit of weight so it, it's just no excuses for not being able to do this you're we're here live with you on a, a full 60 minute session going to go through the entire thing with you we just need a single dumbbell and no space at all so there's really no excuse not to do this you can do this anywhere in the freaking world you could do this in an elevator if you had to this workout and it's going to get you the type of workout that's going to get you in the best freaking shape of your life as long as you have the right the proper coaching and guidance and nutrition to go along with it so now you have a little you had a little time to get your shit set up to get your single dumbbell we're just going to get warmed up. We're going to start moving to get warmed up. We're going to go with forward shoulder circles for three forward shoulder circles. Just one, two, three. Then stretch the left arm for three, two, one. Go forward shoulder circles again. One, two, three. And stretch the right arm for three, two, one. Going backwards shoulder circles for, th for three. One, two, three. Stretch the left arm for three, two, one. Backward shoulder circles. One, two, three and stretch the right arm for three seconds now on your own pace just get forward shoulder circles stretch one shoulder so now in whatever time you want to do a couple more shoulder circles do what you want to do you want to hold the shoulder a little longer you know what your creakety body freaking needs more whether it needs less or more of the stretching or the rolling of the circling whatever the hell over to the right side after the forward shoulder circles and then backwards shoulder circles same thing boom 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 stretch left Hold it and stretch it for however freaking long you need to. We're just getting the body ready to move, ready to kick some freaking ass. Again, all you need is, if you're just joining now, all you need is a single dumbbell. If you're following along live, just put a comment down below. You're following this live or on a replay, just put in replay. Make sure you like the video, comment below, and share it with all your freak, family, friends, and coworkers. Shake it, stretch it. All right, we're gonna go with our quads next. We're gonna go quad stretches on each side. Then knee hug on each side. Hold for however long you need to, just rotating between those four. As I step back, I'm gonna angle this, the Facebooks and the MySpace is down because they don't give you a long view on the camera. So we're going quad, quad, hold it one to three seconds each, whatever you need to. Knee hug, knee hug. My knee hug, I'm getting a little angle to to get a little more glute. So quad, quad, this entire workout you're gonna be down and up every single set is on the ground and up every single exercise is combining the ground with the stand-up so make sure you're ready for that get these legs and hips nice and stretched out hold it stretch it both sides one to three seconds stretch it just getting ready to freaking move we're gonna go back to these shoulders except we're gonna fling it straight out to the sides Right here for two or three straight out and then you're going to stretch overhead for a tricep for three two one fling the chest open in and out and then stretch the right side stretch it three seconds now facebook when it goes to the crotch cam 
You either get the nose hair cam or the crotch cam on Facebook. Because the problem is we're going to be up and down on the ground the entire time. So Instagram can get us because we're here. But Facebook, stretch it. I'll be moving the camera up and down to figure out what the best way for you to see on Facebook is going to be. Stretch those triceps. One more time each side. Stretch it. Fling it. Stretch it. Fling it. Stretch it. We're going to stretch our hips and our chest. Look, your hands are right on your hips. Right above your own ass. You're just grabbing your own ass. Right here. You're leaning over at the waist. Straight. It's a little bend the knees. And just come up and push the hips. Just extend the hips. Just to lock it out. So that you get a stretch on this shoulder. You're not hyperextending your back. You're not doing all this crap. You're just straight enough to feel that open. Your hip open up. And your chest and shoulder stretch. So lean over. And just push the hip. Extend the hips forward. To get that chest shoulder stretch. And to open up your hips. Without arching your lower back. Breathe it out. Two more. We need those hips opened up, so we're getting ready to work. We're gonna open up here a little more. Step forward with your left leg. Reach up high and to the left with your right arm. So you're opening this up right here, this whole hip flexor up. Reach it up and twist, straight across. Rotating. Ease out, don't, ease, don't snap into that shit. Now put your left leg back and your right arm. Open it up, stretch it, open this hip up. Now it's on your own pace, do that a couple times each side. You don't want to hold it too long because we're getting ready to freaking work. So that means you should be doing active, dynamic stretching. You can see I'm just moving, holding this going side to side. It looks like I'm doing one of my funky breakdancing moves. Don't make me start doing some back spins and all this shit. I'll do back spins and, and double flip cartwheels. You didn't see nothing yet. You should do that for a living in New York City in Times Square. Then do it. We're doing a boot camp class. I'll have to do that another time. I'll have to let you see that another time. What the hell do you think, boy? <laughs> yes, people believe in your story, Steve. They Last week I was a professional guitar player. All right, get your single dumbbell. We are going to get ready to freaking roll. Listen to your, your three main exercises that every exercise has built in is either a squat thrust, a crawl out, or a sit out. The entire workout is going to revolve around those three in a bunch of different ways. So get your dumbbell. Get your Let's dumbbell. get ready to roll. So we're starting with a squat thrust. I'm gonna angle the face books down. So on the close up, you're gonna be on the crotch cam. But then when I back up, you'll be able to see on the body. So get your dumbbell out. I'm going way back here. You're doing, and still my head is cut off on Facebook. That is just stupid. Like how far do I need to be to have my whole body? I'm not that tall and lanky, shit. So we're doing a squat thrust to a curl with the right arm. Every rep, you're switching arms. So check it out. You're just doing squat thrust, come up, and one curl, switch arms. Squat thrust, and curl with the left arm. That's it. Look how easy that is. Squat thrust, right arm curl, switch arms on the fly, squat thrust, go. We started. We started freak shows. Watching me ain't going to kill any fat for you. Squat thrust, right arm curl. Switch sides smoothly. Squat thrust, left arm curl. If you need to modify the squat thrust, look, check it out. You just step down, step back, step back, step in, step in, stand up, and hit your freaking curl. Switch arms in the standing freaking position. Jump back, jump in, come up, and curl. Oh, switch arms. Listen, if you do two reps in a row on the same arm, guess what? You'll fucking survive. You'll still live. You'll still be alive to tell about it. Then you just do two on the other arm. Single curl. It's a joke. Freaking joke. Just getting you moving, getting you warmed up. Let's get about one more each side. We have a, tons of variations to get to. This is just getting the freaking ball rolling. Time. So have a squat thrust to curl. Eventually, we're going to get also to crawl out to curl and sit out to curl. But first, this hat is falling off. I adjusted it, thinking my head is a little bigger than it. Little Tyson hat on last. It's really loose. It's probably set for your big dome. That was too loose for me. I actually do like my hat. So now we're gonna go squat thrust to a shoulder press. So technically from the bottom position to get to a shoulder press, it's really a curl to a press. But I'm just calling a squat thrust to a press to trick you. So you think it's just a press, but technically that shit is a curl to press. And we're just getting rolling, we just get warmed up. So we're taking our time to get your blood flowing and get you warmed up. Let's go. Squat thrust to press. Jesus. <laughs> 
thrusts, it just really seriously just crotch count. So squat thrust, come up, curl, press, throw it up. Well, you can at least see Tyson because he fits on the midget cam. Midget cam. Well, if he was actually working. Otherwise, you just see him standing there. Squat thrust to curl the press. Switch arms. Jump back, jump in, come up. Curl, press it up. Switch arms in a standing straight position. Not while you're really moving. Curl the press right arm. Switch. Curl the press left arm. Switch. So this is group A with this curl and curl the press. Easy stuff. Just getting you warmed up. Make sure your abs are tight when you're jumping your freaking feet back. Squat thrust, curl press, keep flowing. This is easy, it's only one rep at a freaking time. You can do this shit all day. All flipping day. They will be doing it in 24 hours. Time. All right, so we hit squat thrust or curl, and squat thrust, curl the press. Now we have to do crawl out with both of those variations and then sit out with both of those variations. So now it's gonna be crawl out with the right arm, the weight in your hand, and then just right arm curl. Alternate right arm and left arm. So it's cr crawl out to curl. Stand up, weight's in your right hand. Crawl out to a full push-up position. Crawl back in. One bicep curl. Crawl it out. Push-up position. Crawl it in. One curl on the left. Right to the other side. Crawl it out. Crawl back in. Single curl, easy stuff. Just getting moving. Crawl out, crawl in. Bicep curl right left. So the lighter your weight, the faster you should be moving. If your weight's medium or heavy, you just move a little slower, squeeze it, control a little more. When are we gonna be doing the sit outs? After these crawls are done, crawl out to curl. Crawl out to curl right. Switch hands right away. Just keep it rolling. Constant movement. Make sure those abs are tight while you're crawling out there. And when you're doing that bicep curl, squeeze your freaking bicep. Don't just fling it up there. Don't get lazy.